Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy Carpo here, back again with another Division 2 video. In today's video, we're going to be showing you the easiest way you can get all 12 Hunter masks right here in the Division 2. But as always, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you like the video, smash that thumbs up button, leave a comment down below. Stay up to date for more Division 2 videos. Now let's get started. Now, the easiest way by far that I found out that you can get these Hunter masks is by creating a second character, getting to World Tier 1, and then plopping on some of that lovely either World Tier 4 or World Tier 5 gear and then make these hunters easy peasy because they're going to be locked into the World Tier 1 difficulty. Found this totally by accident, so that is the easiest way to do it. Now, let's get started with the number one mask, and that is the Wraith Mask. Now, we're going to be heading to this location right here that I'm showing to you right here on the map by the Stronghold. And that is Interstate 395. Now, this is going to be a little memorial, and we're going to be doing some salutes. So make sure you have your email out for your salutes, and we're going to be doing some salutes. Now, as you can see right here, it did not work. Standing right there, standing right there in the water. But when I came a little bit back and did a salute, boom, he popped up, and there is our first hunter. And as you can see, you can easily melt these hunters in less than a clip. Like I said, we all know how hard these hunters can be. Now you can easily do this solo with this method and you can get all your ivory crease and all of that good stuff. It's really extremely easy. So there is the first mask, the Wraith. Number two is of the ghoul mask. We're gonna be heading to this location to spawn in this ghoul, but there's a few things we're gonna have to do first. First, we're gonna head into the underground. So we're gonna head into the shop safe house and head into this location that I showed you right here on the map underground, right next to the S, N, and D cache is gonna be a little computer that we're going to interact with. Once we interact with that computer, it's going to highlight where the next hunter is going to spawn in. As you can see right here, it has a little moon in it and X marks the spot, meaning that we have to come here at nighttime. Now most of these need to be done at night, so make sure you're after 7 o'clock on your clock and boom, you should be good to go. So we're gonna head back over to this location right here. Now this location is right here, I'm showing you, right here where you can get some of the resource of the water. Now you're gonna see the little blinking light, you're gonna shoot that little light bulb, and it's gonna spawn in our next hunter. Now, like I said once again, it's extremely easy if you do it like this. So make sure you just head into World Tier 1, throw in some of your high tier gear, and boom, you should be good to go. And here it is, the lovely cool mask. Now, the next mask is gonna be three and four, the Revenant and Midas mask, right here by the Potomac Event Center mission. Now, we're gonna be heading into the Sarah shelter. Now, there is a little side mission you're gonna to have to do first, so clear that out, and then come back, and we're gonna head into this little location right here, as you can see. Now, here's going to be a little swimming pool with the water all out of it. Here, we're going to be doing some more emotes, but we're going to be doing some jumping jacks. Now, we're going to be doing some jumping jacks, and we're going to spawn in two more of these hunters. Now, this is the first time that I figured out how easy this was going to be. You see, the first time I did my mask, well, the first few masks that I got was on my first character. And when I decided to go on my second character and, and do it, I didn't have any of the masks yet. So I was like, well, what's happening? And that's because you only can collect the mask once. So if you do it on your first character, you know, or your second character, just know that the mask can only drop once. Okay? But if you're missing out on the ivory keys, the ivory keys can drop. So. There you have it. So as you can see right here, these are the two masks that you're gonna get from beating these guys, the Revenant and the Midas mask. Mask five, six, seven, and eight is the Diamond and Cross and the Dev, and last but not least, the Phantom mask. So head on over to 7th Street and Constitution right here, but you can also spawn into the sinkhole if you have that control point unlocked, or if not, head into the safe house of the ring. Make your way over to this location, and we're gonna be spawning in three first three hunters that we're going to need to take out by this tree and then once you kill all three then the phantom you know that hunter will pop up so we're going to have absolutely 
four of these three first and then the first one so make sure you're at night time head into this little location where I'm right here and we're gonna pull on this lever right by this coffee maker right here okay so we're gonna pull on this lever and then we're gonna head back down over there to the tree and we're gonna crouch down you know run around the tree and we're gonna pop in and spawn those hunters so here we go pull the lever head back down over here and like I said we're gonna spawn in three of these hunters take out all three of the hunters first and then the fourth hunter the phantom one will spawn in now you might die it's okay you know it's fine even if some NPCs kill the enemy while you're dead that's fine the mask and everything will be there as you can see right here you will get the diamond you will get the phantom mask and you will get the cross and the death mask so that is the way you get all four of these masks all right the next mask is going to be the demon mask so we're going to spawn in over here right off of 12th street right by the demolition site control point we're going to be heading into this building right here now this may look familiar this metro location is where we got one of the orange containers for a weapon scan so we're going to be heading back down here again and they're going to be some little you know little marksman little posters that we're going to be shooting at to spawn these guys in it's going to be four of them starting from the top as you can see right there so we're going to start from the stop and we're going to shoot one two three and then four and then it's going to boom spawn out our hunter so here we go we're going to shoot the first one boom we're going to shoot the second one boom we're going to shoot the third one boom we're going to shoot the fourth one boom and then it will spawn in your hunter once again make sure you are at night time after seven o'clock and boom you're going to get your guy in you can easily melt him like i said if you're doing this like i said in world tier one and you have your higher tier gear so boom there we have it the demon mask pretty pretty nice all right, next up, we have the Crimson Mask, and we're right here at this art building. All right, this art building, this art museum, is located right off G Street and a Knife Street. Now, like the other video, we're going to have some things we want to pull on. So, spawn into the MLK control point if you have it. That's the closest thing here. We're going to be heading into this little uh, museum of art. Now here we're going to have some levers that we're going to have to pull on, a little terminal we're going to have to interact with, two of them to be exact, and there's a little time limit. So I think you have maybe 10 seconds to do it before it resets. Once again, make sure you're here at night time. You want to interact with this computer, boom, and then we're going to run over to the other side of the room over here. And once again, we're going to interact with this, and boom, it will spawn in our hunter. Now once again, this is one that I got with my other character as you can see but boom even though I didn't get the mask because I already had it I did get the the tusk key so you know there you have it if you miss some tusk keys don't worry any second character you can still get it now mask number 11 is going to be a couple steps to get this the first step is to take over the Washington Monument control point now after you take that is head downstairs once you head downstairs you want to interact with the computer now, there's a whole bunch of loot down here and collectibles so go ahead and do that if this is your first time down here but what you want to do is interact with the control point once you do that it's going to show three different locations these three different locations are marks of grave sites that we're going to have to use our salute so our next step is to salute at these three grave sites the first one is at the flooded levee control point right here in the corner be easier if you go ahead and have that control point taken over but if not you can just walk over there from the washington monument now you see this right here the little static on the screen that is the correct way to do it make sure you at night time when you salute you'll see the little static like the little hunter static that's going to show that that is checked you saluted it and it checked it boom now the next spot is heading over here to this location and this is going to be our next grave site that we're going to salute now like I said once again, make sure you're here at night time. I'm here in the morning just for the purposes of this video, but you will not see the static pop up. 
I had to come back here at night time to do it. So make sure you're at night time and do it and you should be good to go. Alright, our next location, the final location for the third grade site is going to be located right here. Now all of these is going to be in right by the Washington Monument. So right here you'll have our next location for our grade site that we're going to salute. And that will end our three different little locations of the grave sites that we need to salute. Once again, make sure you're at nighttime, you see the static, and we'll check it off. Boom, you have all three of those done. All right, now after you have all of those done, head back down to the control panel once again, and we're going to interact with the control panel. Now, once you do that, it will then flash with this circle, meaning that you have a circle right around the Washington Monument where this hunter will spawn in. So what you want to do is pretty much head back outside. Now make sure you are after 7 o'clock, you know, and the hunter will spawn in. Now walk outside and boom, the hunter will spawn, melt him. Like I said, it should be really easy for you to do. Now this is absolutely uh, on World Tier 2, I believe, so it was a little bit tougher. So like I said, if you want to do this easy, make sure you're on World Tier 1 on your second character you know have that max gear from your first character and you will easily melt these guys in less than a clip and here it is the ghost mask now last but not least we have the specter mask we're going to be heading to this contamination zone right off of independent avenue by the second different dark zone what we're going to do is head on top of this truck okay make sure you're on top of this truck and we're going to shoot out the bottom eight windows one bullet each so we're going to shoot out these if you shoot it twice it's not going to work now this is one of the locations that you can absolutely do it in the daytime so you don't have to be at night to do this now we're going to shoot out the bottom eight windows including that one all the way to the right with a little tarp on it and then now we're going to go to the top row and we're going to shoot out the bottom five windows skipping the open windows that are black so shoot out the bottom eight windows and then shoot out the bottom five windows skipping the five black ones and uh, skipping the other black ones excuse me it's going to spawn in this hunter melt him and then you should be good to go now once again it's much easier on world tier one here it is the specter mask and boom there you have it we have all 12 masks as well as all of our ivory quiz that we need to get that lovely lovely reward now if you didn't know right into the right house as soon as you come into the right it will be your lovely reward Get all eight of those ivory keys and you will have yourself the shield splinter. Now I do recommend doing this once you hit world tier 5 because it will drop at 500 as long as you're 500. So that's pretty much going in for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for everybody for all your love and support. And as always, I'll be seeing y'all in the next one. Later. <laughs>